Everest factory. Today, we'll learn how to achieve a film look using a power curve. Power curves are a set of specialized industry-inspired color grades, crafted keeping in mind the limitation of Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. In this tutorial, we'll be using Film Power Curve. You can find the free download link for this power curve in the description below. As always, we have a sequence in the timeline ready, and we have color correct these shots. In case you don't know how to color correct, follow the link provided in the description. Right, from the start, let's first create an adjustment layer. Drag it onto the timeline and place it on top of these footages such that it covers them all. Now, we'll go to Effects and we'll be importing a new preset. Inside Power Curves, Adobe Premiere Pro, Bonus Presets, Film. Let's drag and drop it onto our adjustment layer. And right off the bat, we can see the power curve doing its magic. The sweet, soft, organic look of a film. We'll also be using 8mm frame overlays from our Ultimate Colorist Toolkit 2021. Adjust the scale. Actually, we'll use a different one. Yeah, this one. Adjust the scale. Set to multiply. We won't be needing the previous one. We'll make multiple copies of this and place it on top so that it can cover it all. Nice. Let's make some space in here. We'll be using 8mm grains as well. Let's pick medium one. Import. Place it here. Adjust the scale. Set the blend mode, in this case hard light. If we zoom in, we can see the sweet imitation of photochemical effects of silver halide coating on the film reel. We'll make multiple copies and place them on top of the videos. Maybe trim away these extra parts. Now, notice how sharp the video is. Only digital videos are that sharp, whereas film gives you soft edges instead. And depending on the lens used, sometimes some RGB aberration as well. We'll head to the effects panel and look for chromatic aberration. Drop on the adjustment layer. You can see how it splits the RGB. First, let's reset it back to zero. And then gradually play around with it. Check out the subtle effects on the edges. And to soften it up, we'll use Gaussian Blur. Drop it on the adjustment layer. Hit in the correct value, depending on your video. The effect has to be subtle. Perfect. We can now compare. Before, after. This is it. So this is how we can achieve a remarkable film look without even breaking a sweat using a power curve. You can find the free download link for this power curve in the description below. Do check out our Ultimate Colorist Toolkit version 2, a massive upgrade from the previous pack with all the essential tools every colorist would ever need. You can find the product link in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe here to stay updated and follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory. That's all for now. Until next time.